Hello, this is Anton over at thehyperadvisor.com. I'm going to do a quick run through of the uh, network distributed switch from VMware. Um, I've done a video before with this with 4.0, but now that there's uh, 4.1 is out, there's a couple new features, so I just want to do another quick one here. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, go through the wizard here, new. Uh, network distributed switch and as we can see there's an, a new option here for a 4.1 version uh, the 4.1 version includes some additional features such as uh, as it says here load base team and an IO control um, in this setup I, I actually have uh, two hosts with four that are ESX 4.1 and one at um, at 4.0 so if you run through the wizard and you're setting this up we will see here that the 4.0 version is was not su supported in the distributed switch 4.1 version and as you can see here I only see two hosts but if I go back select the 4.0 version uh, you can see that there's three hosts now and this host here is the 4.0 version uh, e of ESX so I'm just going to go ahead and set this up and same way you would uh, any network distributed switch here I'm just giving it two ports um, we can see here the uh, the last window here shows the configuration of the distributed switch with uh, three hosts and two separate ports. So once this finishes up, uh, you can see the, you can get a summary of the uh, distributed switch which is uh, still in progress here okay so it's done now we can see that there's three hosts again um, two uplink ports per host and we can also see that the version 4.1 um, now with uh, 4.1 we can see that there there's actually a selection here where you can upgrade this uh, distributed switch to 4.1 from 4.0 um, with that one host still in here it's not going to allow you to do it as we can see we, there's only two compatible there's one incompatible so it does not even give you the option to upgrade this at this current state so you'd have to either uh, remove the the lower version um, out of the the environment here the distributed switch uh, upgrade that host or reinstall that host and then come back in here and add it to this this uh, network distributed switch or leave it out and and then upgrade it so as we see here the three servers are here and if I want to remove it um, I can go through here in the wizard and select remove from network distributed switch just by right clicking on that host so comes up with the message just letting you know that the network will be lost so if you do this just make sure there's no virtual machines on that host when you do it and if you are in have this in production but this is a lab environment so I can click yes and it's going to remove that one host from the distributed switch configuration so now if I go into the summary we can see that there's just two hosts now so if I click on this upgrade again and run through the wizard we should see that now that every host in here is compatible and I actually get the option to click next and, and go through the, the upgrade of this distributed switch from 4.0 to 4.1 I'm going to go ahead and click finish and now that distributed switch is at version 4.1 um, I will not be able to add that 
that host back in to this this uh, this distributed s switch. Excuse me. We can go in here. We can see that uh, view incompatible host here, and that one shows up right there. So as I said, you'd have to upgrade this to 4.1. And then you could add this this host back into that uh, distributed switch. Uh, that's it for this video. Um, again, my name is Anton. Come check out my blog over at thehyperadvisor.com.